Hello there. The objective of this video is to get you familiar with the Trade Mughal platform. So once you've logged in, this is what the home page looks like. Now, uh, a trade link opens up only if you've logged in. You should definitely go to tutorials, read about about trade page. You should go to FAQs. If you if you have any query, read through the FAQs. Your query might be here before you write to us through contact us. Uh, read uh, the FAQs first. Now about the trade page, uh, there's something called my performance transactions. Your my performance shows uh, how well you've been doing vis-a-vis uh, uh, -vis your peers. Transactions shows your previous day transactions. Reports, something very important you should visit every day. Uh, our analysts rep upload reports every day of the products that we are trading. So uh, these are the four products that we're trading. Once you open up a report, uh, it talks about important supports and resistances of the product. So you should definitely know these levels before you start to trade. These are the levels where market is that there's a good probability that market will rebound from these prices. Okay. Uh, there's something called reference material.pdf. Once you open this, it talks about the four products that you're trading and uh, you get to know about the product that you're trading. So definitely read about the products. What are the factors that affect the pricing of these products? So this is something very important before you start uh, participating uh, definitely uh, go through this material okay once you log in and you click on go trade it opens the trading page this is what the screen looks like these are four price ladders and these are products we're trading so uh, today we'll talk about how to place an order how to delete an order and we'll also talk about the stop loss order okay so these are this, this is what a price ladder is in the middle as you can see it's a price column to the left of price is a bid column you can see it's written bid quantity here to the right of price column is ask uh, uh, ask column, so it's called ask quantity here. So these are the lots that people are trying to buy at these prices, and these are the lots people are trying to sell at these prices. Okay. So how to place an order? First, before you go to how to place an order, you should know uh, uh, how should you reach to a conclusion that you want to buy or do you want to sell. That obviously has to come from the analysis that you do. That analysis can be from the tweets that the analysts are tweeting through the day or to the reports that you have read the analysts uploaded. I would suggest you go through, you, you Google and look for charts online. You'll, you'll find all these products charts online. So look at these charts. You'll get to know important levels. Okay. So let's say you've decided that you want to buy gold. Uh, and uh, so how to place an order? Okay. So you click on the left side of the price or in the bid column, when you click, it opens up a ticket. As you can see, it says buy. Let's say you want to buy one quantity at 1313.0. Uh, okay, so you set quantity as one price, set price 1313.0, limit order, because you want to buy at a particular price. So you place limit order and you press submit. Your order shows in the order book. It will show in the order book as long as it's executed. Once executed, it will show in the fill book. Okay, so this is what the difference between order book and fill book. Order book shows your pending orders and fill book shows your executed orders. Now, there's another kind of order which is called a market order. It does not wait for the market to come to a particular price. So use that order if you want to buy irrespective of the price or if you want to sell irrespective of the price. Let's say I want to buy gold one lot irrespective of the price. So I press the left side of the column. Uh, limit limit. So because it's limit order, it does not ask you for a price. It will it will it will buy at the at the best possible price. And you set quantity as one and press submit. As you can see, it won't come in the order book. Uh, our previous orders also got executed. So we bought at 1313.0 through the limit order, and we bought at 1312.7 through the market order, which means that our current open position in gold is plus two, which shows here, and this shows our profit and loss. So this is what this portfolio is about. It shows your open position in the four products. It talks about the profit and loss uh, of that day. Okay. Uh, now, how to place a sell order? So placing a sell order is, is, is similar. You just click on the right side. You can, in fact, click anywhere in any side and then change it from here. So you can click here and you can change from buy to sell. So you want to sell, let's say market, submit. So we've sold at 1312.9. And we have only one open position in gold now, which we bought at 1313 or 1312.7, whichever you want to take. Okay, so uh, now how to place a stop loss order? Now, many people confuse stop loss order as, uh, uh, as you know, a clubbed order with 
uh, the order that you are you're, you're trying to buy or sell at. So I'd like to make it very clear that a stop loss order is a standalone order and is not combined with the order that you use to enter the market. Okay. So let's say um, I have a long position in, in gold and uh, currently, uh, you know, I'm in, uh, currently the market is going down. It's currently, let's say my buy price is 1313.0 and currently my the market is uh, five ticks lower than uh, uh, five ticks lower than my buy price. So I don't want to lose more than 10 ticks, let's say. Okay. So my cut loss will be at 1312.0. That would be 10 ticks. So I click on the right side because I want to sell uh, because I've already bought. So I want to sell to cut loss. So I click on stop loss. I set the price as 1312.0 and press submit. It will appear in the order book. It will say stop price is 1312.0. Now if the market uh, comes down and 1312.0 is traded, uh, the, the, the software will sell at the best possible price uh, um, and, and uh, it will help me from you know uh, getting out of the market uh, stopping my stopping my loss and you know I'll be out of the market 1312.0 so this is how stop loss order works now these are these three, three colored buttons at the bottom of the price ladder the blue button deletes all buy orders in this ladder this uh, black button deletes all orders on this ladder and this red button deletes all sell orders in this ladder it will not delete orders in other ladders this is a ladder centric button so if i click this it will delete my sell order here let's let's try this okay so this order has been deleted so i like to place another uh, stop loss order one lot 1312.0 and the stop loss and submit okay so the order uh, has been placed at 1312.0 uh, uh, I'd like to talk to you about what do you see on the right side of this. So this is what we call time and sales. It talks about the four products which you're trading and you want to see at what time or the current time, what is the price being traded and what quantity is being traded. So it will help you to, to know the same. Now, what is this message book? So message book basically shows all uh, uh, the communication that you're doing with the exchange. Even if you delete an order or replace an order or order gets executed, it'll it'll show here. Okay. Now your portfolio shows your profit and loss as well. So you can, uh, as you can see, your user limit is two for each product. That means you cannot have more than two lots in long position and less than uh, two lots or more than two lots in the, in the short position. So your maximum position can be uh, plus two or minus two. Okay. Now, let's see, uh, my strategy is that I want to buy oil and I'll, be, uh, I'll book 20 tickets, 20 ticks profit and uh, will cut my loss at 10 ticks. Let's say this is my strategy and how to place an order based on the strategy. Let's say I buy at a market price. I buy two lots at a market price in oil. Okay, as you can see, fill book, I have already bought at 8.85 and my position shows plus two in Brent. Now my strategy is that I'll book uh, 20 ticks profit. So 20 ticks means 108.85 plus 20 ticks means 109.05. So I'll place a sell order for two lots at 109.05 and press submit. It shows in the order book. Plus I don't want to lose more than 10 ticks. So I'll place a sell order, a stop loss sell order at 108.75. Okay. So two lots, 108.75, stop loss, submit. Okay, so it shows in the order book. Now, uh, if if 108.75 is traded, my loss will be cut and uh, 10 ticks loss will be booked. Okay, so this is how stop loss order works. Uh, if you have any query, write to us on the contact us page, uh, but definitely visit FAQs first before you write to us. Okay, all the best.